12 of the UK's most successful young entrepreneurs. Week 1, Istanbul. A cool place to party and a great place to do business, if you're smart enough. Brewery owner James Watt and digital marketing expert Jacqueline Doherty don't want to rely on their startup money. Instead, the Scottish duo intend to sell their expertise as marketing consultants. We're looking at um, digital media strategies. We'll need, obviously, we'll need to discuss it with the, the firms that we're looking to do consultancy for because it's got to basically be around the theme of youth. So far, no takers. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But James is confirming a key meeting with the British Embassy. OK. okay. Yeah, no, we, we, we'll do that. That sounds good. Bye, bye. That was Oscar? Yes. We're going to meet him tomorrow at 8.15. We're supposed to be a company here, you and I. I I've got a problem with your green stuff without consulting it with me. You don't even want to know when you ask me. The guy said he was going to pick us up then. I can't say, oh, I'll have to speak to Jack to see if that's OK. If the guy's going to be good enough to, no, to come out of his day and pick basic, us up. There's a basic fundament you're missing here, which is that, James, this is not your project, this is a Jack uh -huh. project. Please don't agree anything, any appointments with anyone unless you consult it with me. Or, you know what, tomorrow you'll be working on your own. Jacqueline founded Scotland's first internet company. She now runs one of the country's leading digital marketing businesses with a turnover of 1.5 million. I've got a castle in Scotland, I have a luxury designer house which is beautiful in Barcelona, I have walk in wardrobes, I have swimming pools. I wouldn't be in this unless I wanted to win it. I'm a driver. I'm inspirational, I'm completely ambitious, and I won't settle until the job's done. James, is this about you being more clever than me today? Because I think you've got a huge bloody chip in your shoulder. Get over it. Be a businessman. Be professional. I think you need to chill out a little bit. After a stormy start, James and Jacqueline are putting on a united front. Well, it's a great pleasure. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. James's British embassy contact has come good and fixed the meeting with one of Turkey's biggest car importers. <laughs> In Scotland, multi-award winning James runs the country's largest independent brewery. He captains four other companies and for kicks, a trawler in the North Atlantic. I never stop working. When I'm awake, I'm working. I'm on the phone, I'm on the computer. I find it quite difficult to work in teams. I have quite strong opinions. I think that's just, just a part of being a successful business person. You've got to believe in yourself. James's idea paid off. The duo has secured a day's work devising youth marketing strategies. I think Jack's got some firm ideas about money and stuff, so um, I'll just... Uh, Take a back step in that one. Personally, I would like to see somewhere between 500 and 1,000. Brands cult status and look to build in the loyal customer base, and a lot of the ideas are. Let's do 300 and close the deal. <laughs> so 300 each? No. <laughs> 300 both. Can we, can we negotiate a little bit higher? Um, if I was doing something like this in the UK, a day of my consultancy services would be 2,000 sterling. Is there any way we can get 400? OK, I raised it to 350. It's, it's very hard to earn money in Istanbul. Oh, my goodness, you're a hard businessman negotiator. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Jacqueline has to settle for far less than she expected, just £140 worth of lira. I think, for me, lesson learned is I would never enter into agreeing to work for someone for the day without agreeing the price up front. So I think that was a huge mistake. Today, they've organised a meeting with a prestigious arts foundation. These pieces, I mean, they are really, really valuable pieces. And in total, there are 259 well, art pieces. We have expertise in branding, marketing strategies, marketing strategies for young people. We can do a project for you, and then if it's of value to you, then we, you, if you pay us a small fee, it would be very, very good. OK. If you just can wait here for five minutes. Sure. I'll be okay. right back, OK? Thank you. Okay. I'm going to check why would you say a small fee? 
Because I think you've got to focus on doing something that's valuable. I just think you're a little bit obsessed with money. I think you've got I'm to... Not, I've told you, I really I'd be, don't think that my I'd time be happy is worth a, a fee. small fee. I'm sorry. I really, you know, I would never say in front of someone, I'm here to prepare to work for a small fee. What else are you going to do? If you can tell I me an I idea... I think I'd come up with a thousand ideas. Cool. Shoot. OK. Which are? Disregarding James, Jacqueline is determined to earn more money than on their last job. She wants the embassy to negotiate on their behalf. Can we possibly arrange something like at least between five and six hundred? Because I am one of the UK's leading internet experts. I am very good. <laughs> I am worth that. <laughs> but with his partner on the phone, James has already agreed to a 300 lira a day consultancy fee, about 120 pounds. We built an art centre and uh, we don't know what to do there. Okay. So you will we can really tell help. you. Yeah, help. But could we negotiate on the fee yeah. first? Because I think that's that, once that's out the way, then I can just get creative. Yeah, we just negotiated yeah. with James. Yes, but that James negotiated that salary without agreeing it with me. If you're a team, you have to act as a team. And I really understand where James is coming from, but I'm a more experienced businesswoman. I am one of the UK's leading digital marketing experts. I have over 12 years digital marketing experience on a global yeah, level. You, you, you will work just one day. <laughs> but that no one more, day, but, yeah, but that one day will that. give you 12 years experience. Yeah. I have got knowledge, which basically, if I was coming in to charge you a consultancy day, I'd charge £5,000 sterling per day. Can we agree at least 500 today? 500 per day? Yeah. Per no, day. No, 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 no spot. Chuck, I've got a fantastic Five, deal. Let's just excuse go me do some work Can we agree 500 today, no, then? No, no, no. No more. <laughs> Sorry. Did anyone tell you about uh, how good negotiators Turks are? I know, and I really Jacqueline fails to renegotiate the deal. Time is tight and she has to take the job. I've agreed that I'll never, ever leave James in a room alone while he talks about money. And uh, I think I'll agree that I'll never work again with him in my whole professional career. That's what I've agreed. Our total is 1,218.25. They are this week's winners and take the combined pot of over 4,000 Turkish lira. James and I basically fought like cat and dog the whole week, so it's not necessarily been a comfortable business. one way of putting it, love. The last three days' worth of abuse that I've had to take has just not been worth it for me at all. It's a bittersweet ending for the dysfunctional Scottish partnership. It's been very difficult to work with someone who doesn't particularly have the same direction as you um, and wants to work as a solo player. I, th I think we have been lucky in the opportunities that have came our way, but I think it's a, a key thing in business. You are going to get luck, and for me, the important thing is you take advantage of the luck that you get. Mm -hmm.